Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of my No Time to Explain Remastered Speedrun Guide. In this episode, we'll take a look at the um, stomach universe world and uh, how to speedrun that. So for uh, the first level, of course, you uh, like this one, you enter straight after exiting the uh, cake world. Like it goes right after defeating the boss, the cutscene plays, exit that, and then you... Uh, enter into the first level and uh, right off the bat you want to like shoot down both to accelerate your descent and also to avoid the uh, getting knocked over and uh, in this world in general there is the mechanic of uh, stomach acid that will uh, kind of works like the uh, the fire in the uh, underground world except it also like propels you quite a lot faster so you actually want to be in the uh, acidic state as much as possible um, so for the first level you definitely want to be uh, to try what's it called to to get this or to hit this uh, thing because otherwise this is the route to take and it's actually quite slow um, so instead you want to do like this and enter into uh, the portal. It's important to shoot. actually uh, go fast enough so it's not a risk that you die because just like with the fire, if you uh, are in this state long enough, you will uh, you will die and that loses a lot of time. And also just like with the fire, uh, if you are in the air, you can be in the state for much longer. Uh, yeah. So for this, again, get the uh, asset as soon as possible, get over the bar or the wall, not that big of a deal. Uh, this one, there is two routes. There is the uh, safe route of going just slowly atop, across the top here and into the portal. Uh, and then there's the speedrun stat where we actually use this, go up this way and into like that. Um, it takes a lot of practice to hit that consistently um, and it's a lot about the uh, gun angle it should be a little less than 45 degrees and then uh, after you've hit and then you're right like around here you start moving, moving a little bit down so it's a uh, steeper angle but still not 90 degrees down um, so like this and then like that uh, and then uh, when you can see that you kind of hit this gap here, then you go down to, to 90 degrees. Um, so it's, it's more of a smooth uh, transition like that. It is way better to go late and hit this block right there instead of the, uh, of the water basin. It's way better to hit here than here, because if you hit here, then you're hit here and then you fall down and then you most likely would die either by landing down here or just burning out uh, and if you hit this one then you fly up can land here and then go into the uh, into the portal so something like I think <laughs> it's hard to fail on purpose sometimes but like like that and then you can land there and go into the portal like that uh, in this world we also get introduced to these white blocks that turn into uh, spikes if we shoot them. Um, here we just land here and then shoot and go straight into the portal like that. Really not that big a deal. It should uh, be one of the easier and faster levels to uh, to do. Uh, for this level we climb all of these acid basins and uh, what I like to do is right at the beginning drop to the left Go up to this basin, to this basin, and into and shoot into the portal. Uh, the slow and probably intended way is to go something like this here, which is, as you can see, very slow. Yeah, something like that. Um, but this is where the speedrun strat of actual, actually use, utilizing the uh, speed boost you get from the asset comes into play uh, a whole lot. So, left. Go up here, 
go up here and into the portal. And again, we use the uh, asset here. This one can be a little bit more tricky and you have to be able to act on the fly. Sometimes you don't get the bounces that you expected. So uh, what I like to do is try to hit, uh, hang on a second, I'll try to hit this basin, maybe right on the slope here or underneath uh, to keep me low to the ground um, because that can help me so just get over here. I can help you get under this wall over here. Um, so shoot more or less straight left. Sometimes you can take it a little slower and do something like that and into the portal. Uh, or you can just fire away and really uh, go hard on it. But then you have to worry about the salt blocks or the uh, white blocks at the end. Um, yeah, something like that without hitting that spike, of course. I usually don't hit that. Uh, interesting that I've hit it twice. As you are roughly halfway through the second room over here, uh, I like to start stop shooting uh, just to slow down a little bit and actually hit the gap on the uh, third room. Oops, not like that. That was the insane speed I got there. Something like that is uh, what I like to do at least. Um, for this level, there is kind of two routes. You can go and uh, break these blocks and go the intended route through the middle. Um, but the faster route is probably going up here. Oops, not like that. Something like that. And then when you're in these uh, one block high corridors for an extended period of time, so you want to shoot to the left while uh, while moving because it's faster than just running uh, and also like slight down angle maybe jump a bit that can uh, can help you go through those faster um, here do short bursts so you don't hit uh, these blocks here if you hit any of like these uh, these four these three all of these down here this one down on the bottom here no, no, these down in the bottom you don't really care about, uh, usually because you'll, you'll see in a second. But any of these and these three, then uh, you might as well reset because you cannot cannot make it past, um, unfortunately. Uh, you can like either don't hit these three or don't hit any of that, those down in the bottom here because you need to be able to make it past, of course. Uh, this one is probably the one you will accidentally activate the most. The same for this one down here. Um, but yeah, make it to here without hitting this one. Go down like this. Short burst. When you're standing on this one, do a an angle so you're not accidentally hitting this one. Like this. That This is perfect. You can also break this one. Um, but usually you, you don't want to. When you are on the on the same level as the portal, this row of blocks, shoot as much as you can all the way to the left, so you break at least until you break this block. This one doesn't matter, and uh, and when you're here, the same as up here, you uh, you want to shoot to the right. This one doesn't matter anymore. So you go like that, um, and for this. Uh, I, I like to use the uh, old speedrunning term, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Um, because you really just don't want to accidentally hit any of the any of the blocks. So a decent run would probably look something like this here. Yeah. Some of the principles I that I <laughs> talked about, I uh, kind of didn't do uh the shooting diagonal at the end but with time you kind of know how long you can shoot uh to not hit the um the final or the uh white block at the end uh, and just yeah just comes with practice um final level in this world before the boss uh this one is one of the more tricky ones especially to speed run and uh, I would highly recommend spending a lot of time practicing this. Uh, the idea is you land up here, shoot these, and then you go into the water, and then you uh, go up again, go into there, 
try to not die. <laughs> and then into the water. Uh, you can skip this water down here to go faster because it takes a lot of time to go down and then back up again. So what I like to do and find easier actually is just do all of this in one motion and hit this water here uh, to remove the aesthetic effect. Uh, it takes a lot of time to, uh, to learn this and uh, the most important part I think in learning it is uh, going using the slope go down just a little bit uh, to hit this gap more easily. Uh, it's quite difficult to go straight from the top uh, up up here into this. So go down the slope a bit. Like this. M make sure to shoot downwards at uh, quite a steep angle. Uh, like a 60 degree angle or something it's quite quite uh, steep uh, to make it through and then just into the portal um, for beginners it can be a, an idea to just do this this strat because it is it is slightly easier um, I like to do it all in one motion because that's what I've practiced uh, and actually find this a little bit hard uh, but still, yeah, use the uh, the slope to to go go into the to the hole. Uh, will definitely help a lot, is what I found. And uh, now for the boss, which is probably the hardest boss in the game, uh, in my opinion. Um, we have the acidic bath down bath down at the bottom, and then we have the water basins at the top. Uh, he does follow a very strict pattern. There's basically no RNG to it. Uh, so it's all skill and it is really hard to do uh, fast. Um, but what I like to do is get up into the water basin as soon as possible because then when he, uh, you can't even see my cursor, uh, then when he lowers down, uh, then um, you can start shooting at him as, as soon as possible. Uh, a thing to note is that he reacts to your movement uh, when in the middle. So the uh, fight goes like he is in the middle, and then and you shoot on him from uh, from the top. Uh, you can bounce on his shield without taking damage, uh, which is very useful. And um, if you are on the right side of him uh, over here. Uh, on the right half of him, he will try and go to the left. And if you're on the left side of him, he will go to the right. Um, so if, let me uh, try and show what I mean. So if I'm on the left side over here, he will go to the right at the beginning. Um, and if I am on his uh, right side in the beginning, he will go to the left side, as you can see there. Um, and we would we all always want him to go uh actually the first one hang on a second let me just thank you <laughs> the first one doesn't matter too much yeah actually we want him to go to the to the to the left side sorry um because if you don't do the uh, super fast strat it doesn't matter but if you want to do this strat where you death warp you want him to go to the left side because then you can get some damage in on here which is um hard but very worth it and then you can uh, kill him ah oh, sometimes you can kill him there that's okay he should die there um so well, that is the uh the fast strat where you uh death warp up onto the left corner and uh you can get some extra damage in on him if you are new to this game, don't try that strategy. It's it's quite hard uh, and uh, very inconsistent if you haven't practiced it a lot. And even then, it can it can fail. Uh, it usually doesn't lose too much if you try it and it doesn't work. Uh, but a more consistent strategy would probably just be uh, something like uh, like this here, where you uh, hit him. Until he goes like this, you can actually uh, make him lose his shield in the in the first shooting there, and then you go like this, and then you just try to follow him down here. 
do him again. Wait for him to go up here. And you wait on the same slope as he's coming down on. Try to time it so you can actually hit him. And uh, there you go. That That is the typical fight that you would want to get. Um, and if you don't, then it's all about adapting and uh, improvising. Yeah. A, a good fight for me would probably look something like this here. If I can uh, get him. So here I'm trying to get him to go to the left side again. Because I can go underneath here. Deliberately died. Because I can get um missing the damage. <laughs> that was my okay, that was my good. Uh but sometimes you can actually kill him while he's uh, around here or something, uh instead of all the way up there. So it saves a few seconds. Um and can definitely be uh, be worth pursuing uh once you get at a high enough high enough level uh, and want to get those extra extra seconds. Um, but yeah, that's it for the uh, Asset World, and uh, hope you'll continue watching the series and uh, learn more about this speedrun.